One thing I wanted to show you also was that now the fact that I don't have this bump here on my Gen 4, it's a lot easier to assemble the slide without issue. So for all of those, all, all of you who basically have issues um, reassembling your gun, just change the trigger bar. All right. So I've assembled both uh, Gen 3, Gen 4, and now here's where I want to show you how I figured out, or I think I figured out, what is actually causing the heavier uh, trigger pull towards the end of the pool. So basically, you caught both guns. Now, if you look in here, let me see if I can get a good angle on this now, because this is going to be difficult. Let's see if I get this lamp. Alright, so I finally figured out an angle in which to put the camera on the light where you can see this. Um, sorry that it's sideways, but for this purpose it doesn't really matter too much. So I've cocked the gun, it's empty. <clears throat> now in there, <clears throat> you can see the safety plunger, that's a cylindrical object, and you can see the trigger bar, and the part of the trigger bar with the bump, slightly over the safety plunger. Now when you pull the trigger, you'll see, let me try to show this properly, sorry about this. You will see, oh man, this is pretty hard, alright. See how it moves <clears throat> and activates the safety plunger? Now, the reason I say the bump doesn't affect the trigger pull is because this part of the trigger pull right here, this is a Gen 3 with the Gen 4 trigger bar. This part of the trigger pull is smooth and it's the same weight as a Gen 4 with the Gen 3 trigger bar. And right here, the bump is already rubbing against the slide. So if it was a bump, this part of the trigger pull would be heavier on, on the Gen 3 than on the Gen 4 with the Gen 3 trigger bar. But it's not. Man, this is very hard. Now, so this part is fine. Now, right here, this position right here, if I keep squeezing, it'll eventually release the firing pin after this point right here where I'm holding it at. So, you see? Now, this trigger bar has a bump, because it's a Gen 3 with the Gen 4 trigger, bump, trigger bar. When I pull the trigger completely, let's see, I want to show this perfectly. They just go straight back trigger bar just went straight back. Now, with the Gen 4, that is not the case. The Gen 4, same feeling right there, but then, with the complete pull, yeah, you can't really see it on the camera. Let me try that again. So that's the initial trigger pull, then the complete trigger pull. Basically, what I'm seeing, which you can't really see on the camera, is the trigger bar, which is right there, is being, I guess, twisted or bent down or sideways towards the frame this way. Let me turn the camera and I'll try to show you what I mean. Alright, so basically, this is what I'm talking about. Let me put this light back here. Alright. This trigger bar, this is a Gen 3 with the Gen 4 trigger bar. Let me cock it there, alright. As the trigger is moving back, Here. So as the trigger is moving back, like that, this trigger bar just stays straight. You see how it's moving that way towards the edge of the frame? So it's going, it's going like this. So let's see that again there. You see that? That right there is moving it away from the connector 
right here. Now, if the slide was here, it wouldn't let it do that because of this bump. This bump keeps it in line so that it doesn't move up like that. It just moves straight back. The Gen 3 trigger bar, without the bump, is basically free to move up like that. So you see the movement. You see how this gap right here closes? So, my theory is that the bump itself is not the cause, or the friction between the bump and the slide is not the cause of the heavier trigger pull. If that was the case, then the uptake or the pull from the front to right before when the right before the firing pin is released that whole pull right in that section should be heavier with the gen 4 trigger bar but it's not it's the same on both it's a little lighter on the gen 4 but that's because I put the minus connector with the stock connector it's the same pull on both so it's not the bump rubbing against the slide that's the issue it's the fact that the bump doesn't let the trigger bar move this way as it's going back and as a result it's rubbing more on the connector and this whole section back here um, that's my theory feel free to discuss it in the comments um, I would like to hear your opinions about this um, but I, I, I believe my theory explains um, why when I move the trigger bar of the Gen 4 Glock to the Gen 3 um, it's smooth in the uptake but then very hard and stiff it is crisp but very hard and stiff to finally release the firing pin um, let me know if you have any questions um, hope this answers some questions alright take care